yes, some signs that this country may be stepping back from the brink with several developments over the last 24 hours, principally in the National Assembly. That's the power base, really, of the opposition here, and it was scheduled to hold a trial against the president today. The opposition position is that following a series of controversial moves, including abruptly ending a planned recall referendum, the president should be charged with dereliction of duty. This was going to be largely symbolic. There was no expectation that Mandoro would actually attend, but there were concerns that such a move would completely derail the talks that are ongoing now. So that trial has been called off for now. And the reason for that is that the opposition's feeling that those talks are bearing some fruit with the release of at least three prisoners that the opposition regards as political prisoners in the last 24 hours. The opposition is hoping many more will be released soon and so want to give the dialogue which is mediated by the Vatican more time. And meanwhile, the opposition has also called off an event that was seen as a real threat to the government in the coming days, and that was a march directed at the presidential palace. In the last few weeks, the opposition has repeatedly proved that it is able to mass big numbers of people on the streets here. Uh, people unhappy with the direction this government is taking the country, which is in the midst of a very steep recession. Now, there was real concern of violence and possible bloodshed if the march got close to the presidential seat of power. Now, that march has, as I said, been called off for now. I think this all reflects a concentration of national and international pressure on President Maduro, who is being urged to take a less stubborn line against his critics. Last night, he held a meeting with the U.S. envoy, Thomas Shannon, and after the meeting, the president had this to say. La visita de Thomas Shannon's visit and our conversation confirmed the need for respectful relationships and also a permanent dialogue. President Maduro there after his meeting with Tom Shannon. Now, one of the real challenges for President Maduro and his supporters is the lack of popularity of the president. It's currently running around 20 percent, which does make him vulnerable to any recall referendum. And on that note, uh, we saw today something we've been seeing in the last few weeks, and that is an ongoing PR drive by the president's men to soften his image. Nicolas Maduro on Tuesday here in Caracas launched a radio show, his own show, called The Hour of Salsa. Now, the opposition's view is that this is not the time for any of this, but the government has been hailing it a success. And meanwhile, we're waiting really for the next steps, whether the government will be offering any more concessions and whether this is a breakthrough in this country's long polarized politics or merely a brief respite. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Caracas.